Chapter 5 Then all the tribes of Israel went to David at Hebron and told him, We are all members of your family. For a long time, even while Saul was our king, you were the one who really led Israel. And the Lord has told you, You will be the shepherd of my people, Israel. You will be their leader. So there at Hebron, David made a covenant with the leaders of Israel before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. David was thirty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years in all. He had reigned over Judah from Hebron for seven years and six months, and from Jerusalem he reigned over all Israel and Judah for thirty-three years. David then led his troops to Jerusalem to fight against the Jebusites. You'll never get in here, the Jebusites started. Even the blind and lame could keep you out. For the Jebusites thought they were safe. But David captured the fortress of Zion, now called the city of David. When the insulting message from the defenders of the city reached David, he told his own troops, Go up through the water tunnel into the city and destroy those lame and blind Jebusites. How I hate them. That is the origin of the saying, the blind and the lame may not enter the house. So David made the fortress his home, and he called it the city of David. He built additional fortifications around the city, starting at Milo and working inward. And David became more and more powerful because the Lord God Almighty was with him. Then King Hiram of Tyre sent messengers to David along with carpenters and stonemasons to build him a palace. Hiram also sent many cedar logs for lumber, and David realized that the Lord had made him king over Israel and had made his kingdom great for the sake of his people Israel. After moving from Hebron to Jerusalem, David married more wives and concubines, and he had many sons and daughters. These are the names of David's sons who were born in Jerusalem, Shimea, Shobab, Nathan, Solomon, Ibhar, Elishua, Nepheg, Japhia, Elishama, Eliada, and Eliphelet. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king of Israel, they mobilized all their forces to capture him. But David was told they were coming and went into the stronghold. The Philistines arrived and spread out across the valley of Rephaim. So David asked the Lord, Should I go out to fight the Philistines? Will you hand them over to me? The Lord replied, Yes, go ahead. I will certainly give you the victory. So David went to baal Pirazim and defeated the Philistines there. The Lord has done it! David exclaimed. He burst through my enemies like a raging flood! So David named that place baal Pirazim, which means the Lord who bursts through. The Philistines had abandoned their idols there, so David and his troops confiscated them. But after a while the Philistines returned and again spread out across the valley of Rephaim. And once again David asked the Lord what to do. Do not attack them straight on, the Lord replied. Instead, circle around behind them and attack them near the balsam trees. When you hear a sound like marching feet in the tops of the balsam trees, attack. That will be the sign that the Lord is moving ahead of you to strike down the Philistines. So David did what the Lord commanded, and he struck down the Philistines all the way from Gibeon to Gezer.